What it do, y'all? It's your boy STL Guru. Today I'm bringing y'all some quarterback sneak D. Uh, this is a sneak D I've been running uh, for about uh, two weeks now. I've been really successful with it. I think you know, like I probably had about what two guys like scoring me with the quarterback sneak. But like I said, I've been having some a lot of success with this defense. Let's go and go get into the defense. I sh I'm showing you guys an actual game mode playing against myself, which is gonna be kind of tough. But I'm gonna make it happen because uh, in a practice mode, you come out and the guys are already set, so you can't set it up. So the play I run is out of the 4-6 uh, normal, and it's called Inside Blitz. And uh, let's go and put the I mean, it's quarterback sneak. So what I do, I like, I like to pinch the line, crash him in, and run commit. And I like to, uh, you know, bring this guy down here. Uh, uh, like put, you, you want to put him, like, close to this line of scrimmage as you, like, you possibly can. Like, about right, like, about right there in the middle of these guys. And, I mean, you can also blitz him, too, if you want. It's optional. And uh, what has to happen, so they, so they say... My controller just went off. Sorry about that. And as soon as they say hi, I can try to you know, jump and get the animation that everybody gets. This is what's going to happen. Going to get stopped in the backfield just like that. And let's go ahead and run it again. And see, I've been having a lot of success with this, uh, this sneak D. Um, I haven't seen anybody else running this sneak D. Usually some guys running there out of Nickel Strong or whatnot. But this is my sneak D out of the 4-6 inside blitz. So, quarterback sneak. Come out. Uh, crash the line A pension. Reboot this guy. Run commit. And uh, you want to put this guy like right here between these guys. Uh, that's, that's where you want him at, like right there. As soon as they say try, try to jump, I'm not going to get the animation. <laughs> and like I said, I'm going to run for you guys again just so you guys know it's not fluke. Like I said, the quarterback sneak, you're going to usually get like two to three yards jumping. But this is this really slows it down a lot, in my opinion. Like I said, I've had a lot of success with it. Once again, it's 4 6 normal inside blitz. I'm going to just set it up real fast. Like that's how fast you should be set up. Just like that. Oh, uh, I actually backed them off. <laughs> you don't want to back them off. So, so, this is how it should look, just like this. As soon as he tries to. See, I messed it up, so I'm going to go ahead and run it again. Because I messed it up. So I'm trying to explain the steps to you guys and, and also set it, <laughs> set it up at the same time. So, let's go ahead and set it up again. Inside blitz. Go with that sneak. Quarterback sneak. Not gonna be here. This is how fast it should be set up. And as soon as he say hike and try to hike the ball, he's going to get stopped just like that right there. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to jump and everything. It's not working. So that's my sneak D. Uh, the steps are you, uh, you just pinch your line, you, pinch your line, you uh, scoot your line in, pinch him, um, run commit, and then bring that safety down. You know, re-blitz him and just put him in the middle of those two guys. And just, I just hold L trigger. And, um, that pretty much uh, stops the run D. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little quick little tip for the run D. That's next time.